channel so for today's video I'm actually really excited because I haven't filmed one of these in a little while and I feel like these are old school videos now I don't see many of them floating about anymore it's like you know what I've spent the day I've had lunch with my mum which was really really nice we had the best food and we did some shopping and I got some necessities but I popped into boots and boots and super drug and I spent a little bit like I didn't actually spend that much but I got some bits and one thing my mum very kindly got for me so all in this super drug bag is pretty heavy there's a mixture there's some new releases of makeup there's some boring things there's just things i've never tried before so let's get on. boring things out the way first but i've never had original source shower gel before this is from boots and i've heard amazing things like malika goes on about one of their shower gels and i've heard so many other people my mum's used them lynn's used them so i thought you know what i'm gonna give it a go and i love mango literally mango is my favorite scent i haven't smelt a brand yet i haven't smelt a brand's mango product yet that doesn't smell nice and i needed a new full-size shower gel so you know it's only a pound this one today i got the original source one yesterday with limb i got this one today and this is radox and it's a field detox this field detox detox oh wow i thought it said detox doc, detoxified but it doesn't it said field detoxed akai berry scent and clay shower gel they had a bath soak which i was gonna buy because it's the same price but i thought you know what shower gel multi-purpose you can use it in the bath i do that don't know if anyone else does but i do um and this smell heavily my mum picked one up too it was only a pound it's great literally i'm sorted now this smells lush it's got some dry shampoo now i normally go for the floral floral and something it's got the pink packaging and they didn't have any of this this is from Superdrug. now you know what cleaning classic original it won't smell horrific hopefully because it's since it's the original one so yeah i bought this because i needed more dry shampoo i am planning on maintaining my hair care by actually washing it properly but if that's the time when you're just like oh it's a bit greasy then that's when i'd grab for this and i know dry shampoo so many people say it's not good for your hair i've never had any issues but yeah i've only ever tried batiste and it's really really good also got this got this from boots um it's just the miscellaneous water it's bog standard it's a 700 mil and it's 7.99 now i know that must sound so i must sound like such a like a stingy teenager but 7.99 each time i'm like oh my god but to be fair, I do use it and it lasts quite a while, to be honest. So yeah, and it's the best makeup remover I've tried. Let me know any other affordable makeup removers that you tried or other micellar cleansing waters that are suitable for sensitive skin um, that isn't Garnier. And let me know what you think of those products and if you recommend them. Also, I'd like to try out more, but obviously I'm sort of scared to try out. Oh, I'm tr sort of scared to try out more because this doesn't break me out. So I obviously don't want to try something that could break me out. Uh, so yeah but this is really really good people ask how do you have clear skin i don't think i have necessarily clean, clear skin all the time like as you can see i've got some blemishes here but i do think this helps it just gets every little bit of makeup out just finish off the boots theme so i picked these up when i was with lynn and these are the fragrance free eye makeup remover pads now i'm keeping these um to test if i go away um like if i stay in a hotel or if me and maliko follow through with some plans if we do do that in the end then i want something really easy like i don't know whether these will work whether they'll be good obviously i'll take a mini mr select cleansing water but i thought these seemed like a good idea they were only like a pound i think um and i thought you know what i'll give it a go and the fact that they're remover pads i was like you know what i love this is some really weird like skincare padded products i think they're so easy to take, carry around because they're so compact in a little tub and yeah and you can recycle these so like the tub which is great if you're eco-friendly and all that what my mum got me um if you've watched my sort of like shopping vlog and um, with my mum then you would have seen this but it's a soap and glory control sleek heat activated smoothing cream enriched with marula and moringa seed oil frizz control for at least like for about eight washes now you might not think my hair's frizzy but trust me i have a lot of frizz and i have never been able to sort it out i just don't like it the only way i sort it out is by straightening it and i thought you know what this is on this was on an introductory offer for 5.99 instead of nine pounds and my mum said you know what i'll get it for you and i was like oh thank you that's really nice so you get 100 mil it's not tested on animals it's all good things and yeah i just thought i'd give it a go for hard to manage frizzy hair and i do like soap and glory product just super drug skincare i only got this now i don't know whether this is sensitive skin friendly 
let me know in the comments if you know whether the naturally radiant range is because i really like the sound of it there was other the deep zone blackhead skincare sort of like charcoal skincare range that they have isn't suitable for sensitive skin and i was gutted because they have some amazing things for affordable prices but the naturally radiant range i've seen quite a few reviews on and lots of people like it um these are the glycolic acid daily cleansing pads infused with plant extracts glycolic acid and fruit acids aloe vera extracts awaken skin's natural glow improve skin tone and texture which i do find sometimes especially if it's near my time of the month i'll be honest i get quite sort of textured skin it gets quite bumpy i do break out quite a bit so i thought you know what this looks really cool and as i said i like skincare in pad form it might sound weird but it's true um so i will give it a go i'll let you know either in a vlog or in a video um but i was very interested by this hopefully it works it just doesn't say whether it's suitable for sensitive skin but i'll give it a go and i'll let you know there's only one way to find out i did pick up some makeup products now all of these are things i've never tried before new releases oh just anything along those lines so i'm going to start with the revolution bits i picked up because i'm so excited so the first two things are from their new matte range and they have a new matte foundation, matte concealer and matte powders. Now they also have in their conceal and define foundation 50 shades. 50 shades of foundation. That is incredible considering they are £9 per bottle. They have new really really light shades, really dark shades in the middle. They really expanded and I think that is incredible and I just want to like give a massive sort of like well done to Revolution because honestly that is incredible but they have the matte base range and I saw it on revolution.com and I was like oh should I should not because it's really affordable still it's like no I'll leave it but then it was in my local super drug I was like right get in my basket and my mum actually encouraged me to buy makeup like I was like are you are you feeling well like what's wrong because <laughs> normally she's like save your money save your money which I am doing but like well no i'm not actually <laughs> what am i talking about but i'm like i try to go for affordable products you know so i feel a bit better about it but i love a good foundation and revolution haven't really let me down so far so it's in the same shade that i got the conceal and define one which is f1 uh, it says it's a pore blurring full coverage foundation now this is only five pounds it's cruelty free it's suitable for vegans um you get 28 mil which isn't bad i did say when i first picked it up it felt really light like it's got like it's mostly air but it says it's got 28 mil so who knows i will be doing a testing video like first impressions on this foundation because i'm gonna do it sooner rather than later because i'm so intrigued the fact that this is pore blurring just makes me think sort of like airbrushed effect you know just really smooth and flawless and i love a matte base so this literally had my name on it and for five pounds you can't go wrong and then i also got the matte base concealer it also says it's a full coverage concealer i was like okay in the shade c1 this was only three pounds like it's incredible you get eight grams of product I was like, let's just go for it. So I'll be doing a first impression very soon of this. So for like basically a full base and the powders retail for three pounds and they have a variety of shades of those two. So the whole base, like five, six, seven, eight, nine, just over 10 pounds for a full base foundation concealer and powder which is amazing so definitely go check out your local super drug if you have these and give them a give them a swatch but yeah i'm very excited to try these from revolution which is new is their cut crease canvas applicator brush included and oh my goodness i saw this and i was like i do really want to learn how to do cut creases so i'm going to look up um on the revolution youtube channel like how they apply this and stuff because i've never been able to do a cut crease properly never so I'm gonna give it a go. And it just sounded really cool that it's like a proper cut creasing, not conceal, because I know a lot of people use concealer, but this is actually meant to form a cut crease. Um, and this is in the shade Fair. That's what it looks like. Oh, it's very thin. I quite like that. Oh, that's nice. I like, and that's actually a really good match for me. Like for my, like blends into sort of like nothing, which I like obviously, because it's on my, and then it's really soft and smooth. I like that. I'm going to get that off it. But yeah, it is quite chunky. But first and brushes, really, really like that. That's butchered. That can go in the recycling. But yeah, so you get you get 4.5 ml of product from e.l.f., which is a brand I never really go to, which is a crime because they do have amazing, amazing products. This is a clear brow and lash mascara. Now, my mum noticed this and I was like, oh my goodness, I need it. I think it's like £3.50. £3.50. 
something like that um and i love clear brow gels and i was actually thinking i need to find another one soon because the one in my collection brow kit is getting so manky i've probably got like a week's more use out of it and then i really need to chuck it because it is really really grim inside um and this just if i like it it's gonna be great it says different like for eyebrow this end and lash this end but i don't really see the difference i'll probably just use both for brows um but yeah i just thought you know what give it a go and i got this from mua which is the brow define micro precision eyebrow pencil once again mua is cruelty free all of that fun stuff which is fantastic and this is in the shade fair i got my mum's help because the shade up from this i thought i might get away with but obviously my mum said since i'm blonde you don't really want like really really dark brows because obviously it wouldn't suit me so i'm going with this now i tried the revolution sort of like micro blading effect like micro precision effect brow pencil and i didn't like it it just didn't do what i wanted it to so i've got high hopes who knows maybe it'll be good maybe it won't but it was only like 250 i think which is great and they had another one like a bigger brow product which is new um that had a brush um but i just thought you know what i'm gonna go with this because if i could have really nice defined brows that'd be fantastic and let me know any good brow like definers um you know sort of like the concealer type things but are meant for carving out your brows if you have any ideas or any good ones that you've had and tried or just any recommendations ones you've heard about let me know in the comments because that would be really really helpful to be honest like i love Superdrug, don't get me wrong but their point system in my opinion is shocking compared to boots boots is so much better you get more rewards you rack up your points more my mum has got a good amount of points like equivalent equivalent to money on her boots card and obviously she saved them up but it hasn't really taken her that long because they've got more of a points have more of a money value at boots but they always give you most of the time anyway like points vouchers which is what i've got so i next time i spend 20 pound in boots i get 200 points and my mum's birthday is this month february so she's got for the whole month double points on every single purchase no matter how much you spend and i've never got anything like that from super drug they might not have sent it to me who knows they might do it but i just find boots so much better for points but i do love super drug because it sells so much more of my favorite brands but if it comes to buying like the necessities or like soap and glory for people like malika or just shower gels and stuff i do tend to try and go to boots because it means i can rack up my points quicker um, because I want to save up my boots points to get more benefit brow products because the brow pencil is amazing. So yeah, keep your eyes peeled for new videos, like testing them out and stuff. And keep your eyes peeled on my Instagram stories and my Lily's Beauty Instagram page. Um, if you haven't followed that, definitely go and follow it because it shows so many different makeup products. Inspired you by any of these new products because honestly, I am buzzing to try them. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. Start a conversation with me in the comments because that would be great. And I'll see you in my next vlog or video, whichever one you watch first. Bye. I get emotional, the words come out all wrong.